Apartment 7A. So Apartment 7A is the brand new film on Paramount Plus that premiered at Fantastic Fest first. So, a struggling young dancer finds herself drawn by dark forces when a peculiar, well-connected older couple promise her a shot at fame. This one stars Ju Julia Gardner, and she is great, as is Diane West. Diane West and Chris McNally. Cri sorry. It's not Chris McNally. It's Kevin McNally. Cri Chris McNally, completely different actor. Completely different role for him if he was in here. I'm telling you that right now. But... I thought this was solid. I mean, it was nothing great. It had moments of tension here and there, but nothing about this film made it particularly memorable. It's not half bad. Having not seen the original film in Rosemary's Baby, I enjoyed this more than I thought I would. It has some creepy imagery and a great performance, particularly from our lead actress in Gardner. And this was a pleasant surprise. However, that doesn't mean it's all good. The screenwriter definitely does not give any attention to any of our side characters besides our old couple. So they they feel so empty and they just serve the narrative. However, that's what they're there to do is serve the narrative. But if you don't write them well, then they don't serve the narrative all that well either. 7A, Apartment 7A is just a solid little horror film on Paramount Plus that's going to be forgotten about by the end of the month, I guarantee you. Well, by by um by the end of next month. If you're a fan of Rosemary's Baby, I've heard that this is exactly the same story. They changed very few things. That's unfortunately because as a fan of horror films, I like horror. It's not my favorite genre, but Apartment 7A is definitely one where I think you could enjoy it. But if you've seen the original film, it's probably going to really tick you off because apparently it does nothing new again with the horror genre it's hard to do anything new but with a movie like this i think what really needs to happen here is you need to have a really good script and you you need to build up our side characters not, not only that they're just creepy old people or cre creepy neighbors you need to build this as hey everyone is out to get her everyone is in on this and you don't do that in a way that is all that intriguing the performances are very good. There's some good and well-executed scares. Really good scares here and there. Good costume design. I like the cinematography. The score was very well done and creepy. But besides that, the script is the issue here. You don't write your characters, any, any of your side characters, to be remotely interesting in the least. But what do you think about Apartment 7A? Are you excited to see this? I, th I thought it was solid for wh what it was, and I'm going to give Apartment 7A two and a half out of five stars. I don't have a whole lot to say about it. I did say that I I, uh, that I would review it, so there's my review of Apartment 7A. Are you excited about it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and let me know your thoughts.